Hi guys, this is Angie Bell with My Fairy Treasures. Okay, what am I coming at you with? Okay, I'm coming at you with a Michaels haul. Yes, Michaels again. Quick, quick story. Quick, quick. I would, I, I call, I, I've been watching um, Finnebar Art Studios. She does the Finnebar art I'm always talking about. And um, I call it salvaged art. And um, I, she had, I was watching her videos and she had the black gesso. She was using that for a project. And I said, damn it, they had two bottles of black gesso. They were only three bucks. You guys, regular $15. And I didn't pick those up that last time. And um, so I called and I said, do you guys happen to have those two bottles of black gesso? And they said, yeah, we do. I was shocked because this was probably four or five days ago. So he held that and one more thing for me. I went over there. They had a t quite a few more things they, they put out because I had bought pretty much everything the last time. And I came at the end of the sale, <coughs> at the end of this clearance. So anyway, let me show you what I went when I went back the second time just uh, yesterday. I'll show you that gesso first. Okay, I wasn't able to get the two black gessos. They didn't have two of them, so I lost out on that. They only had one, but that's still a good deal. These were three bucks. Oh, and I added everything up, which I never do, but I added everything. I was just curious. For $35, I got $130 worth of stuff. You guys, that's ridiculous. And I love Finnebar products. I love the Finnebar um, type of art. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just look it up. Finnebar. It's F-I-N-N-A-B-A-I-R. And I'll be doing some of that Finnebar art here very soon. So, Anyway, look at this. And, and this is good for any, you know, mixed media or any of your art that you're doing. But this is the black no black gesso. And it's a heavy, thick gesso. So it covers, like, if you want to... Um, she took a camera, and this is why I want it specifically. She took a camera, and she first uh, black gessoed the camera. Then she used her... Um, she used these. These... Um, rust effects and totally rusted a camera out. I'll show you this in a second. So, um, that's one thing I wanted for, but for many other things. So anyway, this was regularly like 15 or something right around that price. I got it for three bucks. And then they had two of the heavy white ones left. Can you believe four or five days later, they got, they put more stuff out for clearance and they still had these. I was like, I was like completely shocked. Okay. $35 for $130 worth of products. Insane. Oh my God, nothing's better than cold water sometimes. Remember I just told you about the rust paste? She took this camera. This is the video that I watched. And she rusted out a camera. Isn't that fabulous? You guys, this is so simple and so easy. Well, first, this is the Finnebar art I'm talking about. See all the pieces on there? Like the, um, just all the different little pieces. There's keys on here. There's, um... The steampunk little clock pieces, all that kind of stuff. She glued all those on first. Well, first she gessoed it black. Then she glued all those pieces on. And then she used that rust paste. Fabulous. Oh, and then she... Oh, and after, okay, she painted it black with the rust, with the um, black heavy gesso. Then she put all of her pieces on, all these steampunky little pieces on. Basically jewelry bits. And then... She put the black gesso on all those parts again, and then she started using the rust paste, which is this. Fabulous. So if you can get this in your life, regularly $16, $15.97, I got it for five. You guys, this is ridiculous. And I'll show you the colors. And the reason I think this stuff was some of the last stuff to be sold, a lot of people don't know about Finnebar and what this does. The basic crafters don't know. The ones who do a lot of scrapbooking stuff, they don't do mixed media. They have no idea what that is. So that's probably why this stuff was left. But for people that are in the know... Okay, so... This is the rust color. Okay, so there's that rust color. This is a yellow color, like a mustard yellow. Okay. Let me make sure you guys are seeing... Yeah. And then this is a dark brown. And this was this is the base of everything And when you're rusting. Not just these colors, but using these three together. And that's the dark, dark brown. I'm also, when I, when I rust some pieces like this, I'm going to also show you, though, that you can use regular paint and add a little bit of sand to it. And then it makes uh, just regular acrylic paint and add a little sand or add a little cinnamon to make it, give it texture. Um... You can turn it into 
stuff like this. Because I did that first. I've never bought it. But now that it's on clearance, I did. Okay. All right. So let me put that back. But I'm glad I'm explaining what you use these for and not just showing them really quick. So that if you see this at Michael's and if this is interesting to you, you know how to use this. You can also take metal pieces like your like keys or any metal pieces you have and rust them out for your projects. So that's fabulous. Um, that's what these are on here. These are gears. All these gears, which I have tons of gears. I have tons of stuff to do this clock. And I'm going to do a Dollar Tree wooden one. So she did a real clock that was, uh, a real clock, a real camera that was broken. But I'm going to do this camera they made out of wood. You guys probably all saw them from Dollar Tree. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. Let's keep on with those, those rust paste. Because I got more of them. And the last time I picked up one last time also. But this time I picked up. Now, these are the same. But they're in, these are both the same. So you can recognize the boxes. They had different boxes at the time, see? But it's the same colors. Okay? And this is another way to do the rust, the patina or the rusting. Let me show you. Again, these were all the same price, $5, regularly $15.99. But like I said, I think it's super important that I take them out of the box so you guys can see. And all these color combinations you're seeing, I went on and I looked at what Finnebar was doing, and um, and I made and then I went to some videos on how to make your own rust paste. So I found all these colors and made my own rust paste. I wish I had that sitting in front of me. I actually can't find it right now. I put it somewhere. I'll find it anyway. Look at these colors. That's what the packaging looks like. There there and then there so all three of these colors look really cool with rusted because I picked these exact colors just like I picked those other colors I matched up my own acrylic paints and added sand and some of my added cinnamon to get that texture but these three together come out really cool even if you start with some of the dark brown first and then add in all through add in these two on top of the brown and maybe a little bit of that that could look good too so you can mix all these up you don't have to stick with these three that way so I got two of those so that's what's in this box too so know that it can be in the hell's that box at oh so know it can be either be in this box like this or it can be in this white one. Oh, here let me show you an example of when you use all three of these colors Look what you can make, what you can rust out. Isn't that cool? Fabulous. So you guys are going to see a lot of projects from Dollar Tree that I'm going to be rusting out. I think she did a, did she do a box here? I'm not sure what she rusted out. But anyway, cool. Absolutely love it. I think I'll leave these out so I can, when I do my picture. Okay. Put all that to the side. This is another one, and I've never actually seen this one. Oh, this isn't rust paste. Oh, I finally got some of it. Okay, this was also regularly fifteen ninety seven. I got it for five dollars. They're calling this one just acrylic paint, but I think it um, when you use this, because um, this, this is what I heard. When you use this, it makes um, other colors come through. Um, so it's kind of like pearlized. Yeah, opal magic. So yeah, opal magic. Paints. I didn't even know what I was buying. I just saw that this was the Finnebar stuff, and I was like, uh, yes, ma'am. And I actually thought it was another thing of rust paste. So I'm excited. They didn't have this last time. I don't know when they just put this stuff out because, I mean, basically after I bought my stuff, there was no more stuff left except for a couple of the rust paste and a couple of the gessos. But this wasn't there. But like I said, I don't think people who do paper crafting, they don't know what the heck this stuff is. So they were like, I'm not taking a chance. Yeah, look how gorgeous this is. So these are the, this is some of the projects she did with that. See? I'm excited. I want to, I just want, <coughs> if you want to get some of this paint out and um, just do it on a piece of paper and let it dry and see what it does. All right. So here is the 
what the what the um thing looks like. And then that's the color, and you can see the pearl in it. It's gorgeous. I heard that this works out really good if you do it like on like a darker surface, like on black. So it'll probably still show up on a white, but it really shows up on black. Look at this one. And I don't normally like yellow that much, but look at this. It's a yellowy gold. And they call it Opal Magic. So I'm excited. And then look at this. I'm not that fan of this color either, but actually I am. It's not just a red. It's like a magenta and there's so much pearl going through there. So I'm excited about these also. And it's so weird, because I just started watching Fenibar's uh, stu uh, videos again, because I want to do some of my um, Fenibar art. And um, so I'm excited. And then all the stuff is clamped out right now. I'm like, yes. Okay, this is the last. This is what I'm going to show you last. I think that's everything. Yeah. Okay, you guys already seen my last haul. I bought one of these. They only had one the last time. They did not have two. So like I said, they brought more stuff out. Or someone returned stuff. I'm not sure. But this was regularly $26. $25.97. I got this for $5. It's Mixed Media Essentials. So let me open it because I don't think I opened it last time. Okay, so let me show you what's in here. This is the heavy gesso in white. So I got another one of these, but just smaller, not as big as those other ones. So I got a lot of gesso, heavy, thick gesso. I'm excited. And then what is this one? Is this uh, another heavy gesso? I got another black. So I have, I got two different sets of this art basics by Finnebar Prima. I am so excited. And then this is modeling paste, opaque matte. So this you can put through stencils. This is fabulous. Now, the 3D gloss gel, I'm not sure exactly what it is. And it says transparent. Oh, let's read the back. It says opaque, thick paste with matte white finish. Hard and permanent, yet flexible when dry. Perfect for creating texture, adding dimension as a base for custom paints and, past and pasties. Mix with paint, pigment, or ink. Apply with a palette knife or a paintbrush. Opaque thick paste. Okay. Oh, this is cool. So it's another paste, but it's clear, you guys. So you can add whatever color you want to it and make your own, basically make your own modeling paste. But make it any color that you want. You can add anything to it. Very cool. And then this is soft gloss gel. Now, I haven't used this before either. It's transparent. Let's just read really quick what it says. Soft gloss to soft gloss gel. Translucent. No, transparent acrylic medium with gloss to use. Apply with a paintbrush. Great for collaging, um, mixing with mediums, or adhering light, glit light glitters and powders. Oh, cool. So you guys, you can use this as a matte medium. So I'm excited. So basically I got a matte medium in here. That's what the soft gloss gel is. Fabulous. And then this is a textured paste. So another paste that you can go through a stencil, um, but it has texture and it. it says white sand. So it has texture to it. So that's cool. Let me see what it says on here. If it says anything else that I don't know. It says texture paste trans, uh, transparent to use. Apply with a palette knife to create texture, dimension, or with other mediums to create custom texture paste. Cool. So again, it's a it's a it's a texture paste, so you can put it through stencils. You can do all kinds of stuff like that. You can add color to it. I guess they said it's a clear. They said it was white sand. So what is it? Let me see. Yeah, it is a white color. Okay. I wish they would have had the crackle paste. That's really cool. You can just put it on in spots on your um, substrate, whatever you're working on, and it'll crackle. And you put it on really thick. So um, I wish um, I wish I would have been able to get that. Because that alone, I was looking up the price. It's like 20 bucks. I think Tim Holt has a crackle paste too. Anyway, you 
you guys, if you want to ever create crackle on a page, you can always, um, let me see how you do it. Lay down some uh, Elmer's glue down. I suppose this was your substrate and you're just doing a background. You just want some crackle on the, on the page, like here in the corner. You lay down some glue. Just do it real messy. Lay down some uh, Elmer's glue, just like that. Okay, like in the corner of the page, so it looks like it's cracking. And then take some uh, acrylic paint, just regular cheap 50 cent acrylic paint. While it's wet, well, wait maybe a minute or two so it's tacky. But you can do no, you can just do it right away because I've done it right away. Take some acrylic paint and put it the color that you want your background in and put it right over it. When that dries, it'll dry with cracks. So that's a way to get do it and do it dirt cheap, and you can have it right now. So. Just letting you know about that. So, you guys, uh, completely and totally stoked. I can't even believe I got all of this for like $35. Insane. Absolutely insane. So, you guys, if you went to Michael's once, and even if it looked cleared out, go back. Because <coughs> at my Michael's, they were... Um, at my Michaels, they put more out. And also, check more than one Michaels. Because one of my Michaels had absolutely nothing. Like, it had been cleaned, cleaned out. But that Michaels has looked barren for a while. It's like, are you guys going out of business? So I didn't even check that one first. I went to this other one that's a little bit further away. Not that much more. But a little bit further away. And <coughs> they always had a better stock of all this type of stuff that we've been buying. And there I found more. And then they restocked more clearance. My other store that's right by me, they don't have jack crap. So just make sure that you check more than one Michaels. You know, if you could check two or three, you can maybe find some good stuff. So, all right, just wanted this video to let you guys know to still be on the Outlook. Still be on the Outlook um, at Michaels for this stuff. All right, you guys, that's it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. If you can give this video a thumbs up. Any comments or questions, leave them below. Come visit me on Facebook and Instagram. And remember, do something nice for someone today. And remember, my friends, we have more in common than we don't. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Did I just do... Okay, here we go. All right, bye, guys. <laughs>